Could you protect us from whatever is out there? We have nowhere else to turn. No one should live in fear. I will cleanse the old ruins of evil. Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your boy Brad. I'm here with Isla Hink. <laughs> it's your girl, Isla. That's right. Your girl and your boy. And your boy, Brad. Covering all the bases. We got both of two out of several bases covered. Yeah. Uh, I got to play <laughs> Diablo 4. Hell yeah, you did. I know you like Diablo. Yeah, despite all the boogaboo. Bugaboo. Sure, yeah. Um, so just for a quick um, context, my history of Diablo is three. I played base three, mm. and I played Diablo 2 Resurrected, which I liked. Okay. I, I enjoyed both. I've played the hell out of all of them. Yes. So, <laughs> so I played Diablo 4 going in. It's good. Sick. It's good. Hell yeah. I enjoyed my time with it. I played the very beginning of the game. So the build I had, obviously, very early. Yeah. There's still some stuff. What did you in pick? It. So I was able to pick between Barbarian, Rogue, and Sorcerer. Okay. Pick Barbarian. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted Necromancer, but... Not available. Not in the preview. Druid and uh, Necromancer are not available. They look cool. Yeah, they do look cool. Right off the bat, though, when you select your character, you can um, make your own character now. A lot of customization options for your That's character. Cool. Lots of cool stuff. Like, I had some rad barbarian tattoos and stuff. My guy looked fucking jacked. Just, like, <laughs> crazy huge. I was like, hell yeah. Sick. This is what I'm Nothing talking Nothing like about. spending a bunch of time creating a character that'll be yeah. this big on yeah. the screen. You can zoom in, but it's like, no, oh, okay. you don't play Diablo like that. Really. No. You, know, you gotta see what's going on. You yeah, gotta see yeah, all the yeah, skeletons yeah, yeah. and all that stuff. Anyways, made my character. Hop in. Uh, I remember when Diablo 3 came out, a lot of people did not like the art style of it. Yeah. Well, too much color for them. Mm. Uh, I didn't mind it because, you know, I didn't really know. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't mind the art stuff. I minded the weird ability tree when sure, the tree yeah. came out. I was like, what is this? Uh, this game is very dark. Hell yeah. Very dark. Very gory. Lots of death, as you'd expect. And, you know, that's kind of what I want from Diablo. Yeah. Immediately, starting off in the first zone, it was like a, uh, a snow forest area. Very dark going snow. in there. Fun. Yeah, it was like snow. Run in. Go to some village. I'm not going to talk about any story specific either because, you know... Yeah, let, yeah. You, let you enjoy that. Go yeah. in there. Regardless, though, shit goes down in this town. You see some really intense cutscenes <laughs> of murder, and they were good cutscenes. I'm like, wow, these yeah. are pretty high budget. I was pretty impressed with them. I mean, like some of the character cutscenes that they've released in the past, like the rogue one and mm -hmm. stuff, just like cutting off ears and all yeah, kinds of yeah. gnarly stuff. Yeah, it was good. I was like, oh hell yeah. But um, so yeah, I picked the barbarian right away. Uh, the talent tree. You know, you have your talent tree. You pick from it's. Uh, it reminded me of Path of Exile a little bit. Okay. Not nearly as crazy, though, when okay. I looked at it. Like, I remember when I booted up Path of Exile the first yeah, time yeah, I looked yeah. at it, I was like, what? Yeah. I, but I don't know what I'm so doing. So is it more freeform like that? Like you So, can... like, you start in the middle. It's not like, if you play a Blizzard game, it's not like World of Warcraft talent tree where, yeah. where it looks like that necessarily. It's, like, it's a talent tree, but it had a little more, like, here's your starting point. You have a couple billies around you, like, in a circle. Yeah. And you can pick that, and you can further expand into okay. it. Okay. So, like... So you, like, pick a branch, kind of. Like yeah, kind of, but it, you have that, but then it would go down further as you got higher level, more mm -hmm. stuff. Like, I got um, Whirlwind, Whirlwind pretty early, you know, yeah. Barbarian. Yeah, 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 yeah. Spin and okay. win, yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You, you pump up the damage, stuff like that. Yeah. But also, you can go down, you can enhance those abilities. For There's, like, two options, usually, for the Whirlwind. There was one where it's, I think it was, you know, you do more damage after a certain amount of time, or there's one that just increases the... Whirlwind time, something around along those lines, but you have to pick one of them. You can't have oh, both. Okay, okay. So I was like, okay, you know, just can you respec at will or? Do yeah, you, you could respec. Okay. Like I think it was a few gold. It okay. was very cheap though oh, okay, when I okay, saw okay. it. I didn't really respec that much because I was just because yeah, where three is at it. now, it's like you've got your core abilities, like four or five of them, and then you can apply runes to them, mm -hmm. which seems. It's deceptively complicated because it seems simple at first, but you can combine any number well, of things. That's the thing is with these games and my brief time with Path of Exile is very deep, a lot of complexity, a lot of player choice. I want to build your character and that is here definitely, but they do a nice job of easing you into it. Okay. Hopping in, not throwing like a million things at me, like just slowly easing me into the systems as I went on, which I really appreciate. Like, yeah. Yeah. I got to a town briefly after a nice big town. There's lots of cool stuff like shops. There's an occultist you could do to like enhance certain things, but I couldn't do it right away. Right. Stuff like that. 
But also, one of the biggest things from this game compared to the other ones is it's completely open world now. It's oh. everything's interconnected. I cool. didn't get to go to those other zones or anything like that, yeah. but I was in this main zone. I saw some of the map. It looked very big. You can get a oh. mount later on. That's, I didn't have whoa. a mount or right. anything though, but that is there. I went out in the world, just kind of walked around. There's the side quest course. You just find mm -hmm. some side quests. You know, some people are yeah, like, yeah, help me. Yeah, some demons are coming in, right. killing they stuff, and it's baby. like, all right, let's go out there and kill some demons. All that good stuff. Um, slash, your baby's dead, lady. <laughs> yeah, Diablo's not a very happy <laughs> game, so get ready for stuff like that. Um, but yeah, going out in the world, just fighting demons, all that good stuff. There's uh, PvP zones also now, so oh. if you want to go fight other people, oh, you can go do that. Cool. I didn't see any of them yet. I don't think they are in the build I played, but yeah, they're yeah. there. So I know people liked uh, PvP in the older games, mm -hmm. so good to have them. Uh, main story quest, of course, but there's also side dungeons. Like, I went to a side dungeon I just found on the world. I went in there, and it was, like, some ruined castle with all this good evil stuff to kill. Skeletons, demons, all that fucked up shit. Do you know, are the areas procedurally generated, like, three? I'm not sure. Is it... I, I don't personally know. Maybe okay. when you go inside the dungeons, they are. Yeah, because they kind of randomized. No. Yeah, I'm sure they probably are. Okay. But I don't know for sure. But okay. I'm, I'm going to assume they are. Yeah. But... Yeah, you go in there, you kill a bunch of stuff, and there was a boss at the end. You can get some extra loot, killed him, and when I finished that area, it was nice. Gave a little check mark on my map, letting oh, me know nice. I'd done that yeah. dungeon. I was yeah. like, oh, very cool. Three does that, too. Yeah. Oh, just one thing I noticed with Barbarian is, so, really early on, it felt like they kind of wanted me to be, like, you could, of course, do whatever you want, but it was kind of emphasis on, do you want to do, like, two-handed stuff, or you want to do dual-wield kind of stuff? Oh, okay, okay. But I had, <laughs> with the Barbarian, I had four weapons. I had, like, a sword and a hammer, and I had, like, two, like, maces or something like that. Okay. And it's like, man, you got a lot of stuff you want to play with. You could do it. It's cool that he just had all them on him. He looked awesome running around with all these weapons on him. Oh, yeah. I, I love how the armor and weapons change, like, visually on the character. Yeah. And um, did a bunch of side dungeons, checked out all that content, did some side quests. Like I said, people wanting to kill demons, good stuff, getting some nice loot, all that good stuff. I did a lot of the story quests too. I don't want to talk about the like what the story is, but you go through a tale. You're pursuing something. You're going through sure. there. You're chasing stuff, and I was into the story oh. way more than I thought I was okay. going to be. I was like, "Cool!" This and is it was easy to follow. Yeah, it's very easy. <laughs> like it's very straightforward. In Diablo, you're like killing stuff and it's real loud and someone's like talking to you on a journal, and you're like, yeah. "I'm not absorbing." A lot any of the of time, this. like there's characters that kind of accompany you sometimes. Yeah. And they'll fight with you sometimes, and they'll talk to you in, like, quieter moments. You okay, know, it's not, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. it's not, like, long stretches of quietness, though, because, you know, it's Diablo, you gotta yeah, kill stuff. Yeah, but yeah. they're talking to you, there's cutscenes with these characters, and you get all that good stuff from them. And I played through a lot, and I hit a nice plat or a nice spot where I was like, this is a very significant story kind of thing. Okay. So I was like, okay. I got my fill in there right now. But... A lot of it was just me kind of figuring out how stuff works and, like, all the systems. You got your weapons, you know. There's They've talked about a lot of in-game stuff, I know, too. Like, a whole different ball game. Because mm -hmm. it's Diablo. People want the in-game. In-game yeah. is the main game for most people in these kind of games. Yeah, yeah. But just from my brief time in this world, it was really fun. I had a great time killing demons. Like, my abilities felt good. I had, like, a cool, like... Um, gap closer with my barbarian for my, my main attack but you can Love assign that. them in any slots like that and i was war went in killed a bunch of guys it, it all felt good it sounded good you're playing pc with yeah, mouse playing, and keyboard yeah okay yeah yeah but it, it felt good it ran pretty damn good too for That's how good. early it was so i was very pleased but um yeah i i think what there and what i saw is very promising i don't know what the end game will be like i don't know any of that kind of stuff but yeah. what i think is there is good and much better than i was kind of i was worried about this game you know but yeah, I feel much more comfortable and confident about it now. Definitely, mm. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, the the main things like that I'm questioning are like the game feel, that kind of stuff. Felt like good from what I played. And, yeah, like it, it depends on you know what kind of player you. I know you like um, sorcerer and sorcerer stuff like that kind druid, of stuff. Probably yeah. But what I think was important is, and they're emphasizing is player choice and you yeah, know, you yeah, building yeah. your character how you want to play and all that kind of stuff. And it really felt like they give me the room to do that. Yeah. So I appreciated that. I mean, yeah, my my character, my wizard in three, I'm just like a glass cannon stand yeah, there and yeah. blast shit. Yeah. T soloing the hardest difficulty on Paragon mm -hmm. to whatever. Yeah. Oh, they also talked about hardcore difficulty, which I know people are super into. I yeah. Mean, that's cool. That's great. Oh, the it's like in there. Uh, you know, you die, you're dead. Yeah, character's white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good fun. Um, 
one cool thing, there's a small thing, but I appreciate, is the world isn't completely flat. Hmm. So, you know, you go through the zones, but there's, like, cliffs you can climb up. Oh, yeah. There's some, like, ledges you can jump off. There's ladders mm -hmm. you go down. I'm like, oh, this just makes this world feel a little more believable. Yeah. You're not free climbing everything like that. They're definitely very designated areas. Right. But I was like, this just makes the world feel a little more real I remember I saw... In one of the early gameplay, I think it was the Barbarian or the Druid, they, like, yeah, jump off the side of a yeah, cliff or something. Yeah, you do stuff like that. Which and is the, cool. Yeah, the Barbarian has, like, a really cool, like, kick ability where you can do that and oh, stuff. Like, fun. boom, kick them far Kick away. them off the... Oh, that's You cool. can just, like, kick them into walls and stuff oh, like that. Fun. A lot of fun abilities from what I did. I wish I had more time to play... Because, like, the Rogue is interesting to me. Yeah. I'm curious about the Rogue, but... Yeah, I played Demon Hunter. Yeah, that's what I've I played, played first. I've played a bunch of the different. I think I was an assassin in two. I've yep. played two, like, several different characters. So, yeah, I like the quick, weird ones. Yeah. Oh, also, one big thing is every class is a dodge now. Very cool. So, for Barbarian, I don't know if the cooldown's going to be the same for every class, but it was, like, five seconds. Mm. And for me, it was just space bar. Just quick little yeah, whoop, yeah, yeah. dodge. Because a lot of the bosses you fight have, like, mechanics. You know, um, earlier on, there's like they just throw down some AOEs. You got to dodge or something yeah. like that. Or these enemies are tethered to this kind of thing. You got to take them out. Just small little things like that, where it felt rewarding when I would, you know, I'd go in at the right moment, dodge out, or you know, I'd dodge out of the way of a, a laser, something like that. Just a little more engaging than yeah. what I remember. Well, that's good that they're starting that stuff a little earlier in four. Yeah. Because in, in three, that's all there in like the end game stuff. Yeah. It wasn't just but, me standing there, right. Not moving around yeah. or anything like that. Like I've got my thing spec for infinite teleport, so I'm just, like, zipping all over the place, you yeah. know, to get out of the way yeah, of stuff Yeah, I can't like wait that. to see, like, what crazy stuff goes on. There seemed, like, a lot of abilities, too, to pick from for Barbarian. That's cool. Right, it, it wasn't so much where I was, like, I, I'm paralyzed, I'm overwhelmed right, kind right. of thing, but it was just, like, I was just really, like, appreciating, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get this ability, or I'm gonna get this stun. Yeah. I think that'd be good for my build. I need a moment where I can just wail on a guy or get away. I'm just gonna get this, like, stun right here. There's, like, some battle shout kind of thing like that. Good stuff. I cannot wait to get my hands on Necromancer when this comes out. Yeah. That's, like, my favorite. Yeah, for sure. And Druid looks really fun. Did the pace of leveling up and getting new skills yeah, it feel, good. feel good? Yeah, Like, I didn't have... I had two skills just for a little bit because I chose to have those skills. Right. I decided to invest in them to make them stronger instead okay. of just getting yeah. more. But there was, like, a bleed ability I kind of messed around with, and mm. I tried something else. But it's, like, I didn't feel overwhelmed. But That's good. Yeah. Yeah. I had a lot of utility even early on where I was like, this is good. I have a lot of engagement moving my character around. Because sometimes in 3, especially if you're playing with someone else, you're leveling up so fast you don't even know what you're getting. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. You're just like, well, I don't know what that ability is. Yeah, I wasn't no leveling time. up that fast. The cap in this was 25. I don't know okay. what the cap will be in the final game. I have no I idea. Mean, 70 is the one in... Yeah, but then there's probably going to be a whole other like, thing after yeah, that. Yeah, Paragon after, yeah. Um, the kind of thing like that. But yeah, Diablo 4... Really great. I'm much more excited for this game than I was before. I think if you yeah. enjoyed Diablo or Path of Exile, you're probably worth checking this out and give it a shot. Looking but forward to it. Yeah. All right. Thanks, everybody. See you later. Demons spilling from the ruins. Kill us all. Kill us all. Ruins? What is he talking about? Come. I'll explain.